UFC light heavyweight fighter, Magomed Ankalov, managed to achieve a convincing victory when he appeared at UFC Vegas 84. Magomed Ankalov scored a knockout victory in the second round over Johnny Walker in a rematch held at UFC Apex, Las Vegas, Sunday, January 14, 2024, morning West Indonesia time. This victory once again opened up hope for the fighter from Dagestan, Russia, to advance to the title match. Ankalov has already won a title match once, facing former division king, Jan Blachowicz, at UFC 282, December 2022. However, Ankalov failed to get the gold belt because the match ended in a draw. By beating Walker, Ankalov once again reminded him that he deserves another chance. For your information, this is Ankalov's first win after in the two previous matches he got a no contest, against Walker, and a draw, against Blachowicz. Ankalov is undefeated in his last 12 fights. Ankalov's victory over Walker was even more interesting because he dared to leave his comfort zone by fighting his opponent standing. His background as a wrestler means that Ankalov is actually more dangerous in wrestling than other fighters from Dagestan. However, the mission to prove it made him choose a more challenging path. I can wrestle Johnny Walker. I can slam him to finish the fight with ground and pound, said Ankalov. However, I want to send a message. I want to fight on my two feet and I want to beat him. Ankalov's message was addressed to the current UFC light heavyweight champion, Alex Pereira, and his trainer, Glover Teixeira. Ankalov has even exchanged messages with Tyxera, who is a former light heavyweight champion, at X. Nice knockout. We'll see you soon, wrote Glover Tyxera. Thanks champ, you didn't have to wait too long. I'm ready for your champ, Ankalov replied to Tyxera. Ankalov dares to target beating Pereira via knockout. Ankalov will put Pereira to sleep like when the figure nicknamed Potan was defeated by Israel Aids Anya in the middleweight title match at UFC 287. To Glover Tyxera, I have a message, there is no need to waste time teaching your fighter to wrestle or grapple, added Ankalov. He won't need it. I'll be there, standing in front of him. And I know he's been knocked out before at middleweight. So imagine what would happen to him if I faced him at light heavyweight. Trust me, he won't feel comfortable there. Ankalov admitted that he was ready if the UFC paired him with Pereira for the main event of UFC 300 on April 13, 2024. Am I ready to fight Pereira at UFC 300? Of course I am. I'm waiting for the message, said Ankalov. Alex Pereira should be scheduled to fight former light heavyweight champion Jamahal Hill who is trying to make a comeback after injury. However, the situation of Jamahal Hill is not yet known for certain after being involved in a legal case due to acts of violence. Therefore, the UFC has not announced Alex Pereira's next match. Apart from that, instead of UFC 300, Pereira has the opportunity to compete in the UFC pay-per-view event in his country. Brazil, which is rumored to take place next May.